All right, guys, so I just wanted to make a quick video here. I um, have a little project going that I just wanted to talk about. So what I am doing right now is swapping a tweeter. This is a P3 V70 S80 uh, XC70 tweeter. Uh, this has got Dyn Audio, so like the premium sound. And then I have a Bliss housing that I need to install it into. Um, this is going to be going into a buddy's car. He has Bliss on his V70 and he wants Dyn Audio. Um, I actually have some OEM Dyn Audio Bliss tweeters that I'm going to be using for my own project um, of installing Bliss on my own car, but I got a set of Bliss standard audio and Dyn Audio non-Bliss tweeters that I'm going to kind of combine together uh, so he can install them. Now what's nice is that these pieces are pretty much uh, independent of each other. The Bliss, as you can see, it's literally just a light that illuminates in the housing. It's not connected to the actual tweeter at all. Um, they're actually installed very simply in here. It's just these three sort of like plastic press, uh, you know, melted connectors, I guess you would call them. Um, so really, all it takes is uh, dremeling it out a little bit. You pop them out, stick it in the new housing, and you glue it kind of together. Um, I have one sitting over here. I already did the other side. It's currently drying. I'm just using some JB uh, plastic weld on there. I'm gonna see how that holds. Um, if I don't like how it's fitting, what I might end up doing is drilling a very tiny hole into each one and then threading a uh, sort of like small self-tapping uh, Torx in there. So we're doing an OEM style connection on that. So while that's over there drying, I'm just gonna kind of time-lapse myself uh, dremeling this out and showing you kind of how I got it out and how I'm gonna install this tweeter into this housing. Now, getting these out is pretty simple. Um, use a small flat blade. Um, I like to kind of, just kind of work them with the little set of pliers here. As you can see that one popped out. Let's try to get this one out. Now, obviously I'm trying to be as delicate as I can because I don't want to damage the tweeter section. Uh, I don't really care about the actual speaker housing on this one. Just a lot of patience, uh, just kind of working it back and forth. Unfortunately, sometimes this plastic sort of lips um, where you're trying to lift it. There you go. So as you can see, it's out of the uh, housing a bit here. I'm just gonna kind of go blow this off and uh, we'll get it installed into the new housing. All right, so getting it back in, very easy. It literally is the same bracket shape. Um, so I'm just gonna put it in here and sort of press it into the pin areas. Um, unfortunately, you know, they don't usually come out pretty clean. Um, you know, sometimes they don't come out quite like this. Um, this is sort of what I'm talking about right here, how you can see it's sort of mushroomed at the top. It makes getting the New speaker on there a little bit more difficult, but as you can see, it's now in the housing. I'm just gonna mix up some JB Weld and we will secure it.
they've been drying for hmm, probably about two, three hours now. Um, give them a light tug. They're still a little bit more drying than needs to go on. Probably another, you know, once they cure overnight, they'll be fine. But everything seems secure. And uh, from the outside, you really can't tell that they've been modified at all. Um, they should just plug in and work. Um, I still got to clean up the outsides just a little bit. They're just a little dirty from being on the workbench. But yeah, these should be um, ready to go. Plug and play. Uh, Bliss, Dyn Audio, speakers.